Give me spine bones. Dude, I just want to die on camera. I'm just jacking off to put myself through music school. Wait, I thought you were illiterate. I'm slowly learning, dude. I'm up through H right now. Even a web, how you dude, I got a question for you. Okay, you kick it off. Dude, I've been good. Uh, when was the last time a piece of media made you cry? A piece of media made me cry? Oh, yeah, TV show, movie, book. Oh, so like anything. legit media, not social media? Because sometimes there's sweet shit on Reddit that's wholesome. That makes you cry? You've cried mm -hmm. at Reddit posts? I would say I've definitely teared up, but that's because I like to follow wholesome, no happy way. shit. The algorithms definitely. don't get me. Do you remember? No, nah, not specifically. Do you remember any of like the stories? Probably something with okay. an animal, honestly. Like, yeah, thought lost because or I've dead, been... or like fought off a bear to save a boy or something, and then was a good boy, right? That's the type of shit that would get me. Oh, yeah. oh, <laughs> <laughs> I know because my weakness. I've definitely been, I've been like choked up by stuff before, right? Like, the first time I watched Titanic, I think I got a little choked up. That might have been like the first time when I watched yeah, that was also your first classroom, I got wasn't, choked up. Wasn't Titanic also your first erection? No, that was my seventh at least, I would say. I had I was well versed in erections at that point. All right. Sustain, yeah. continue. <laughs> but and I think I was telling you about this yesterday or whatever. I watched Coco recently. Yes. And it was th the first time where I legitimately was crying, crying. Like <sighs> tears running down my face from this one point in the movie all the way until like the end of the credits basically it is a heartbreaking movie i'll be honest ah oh, but it's also heartwarming it is <laughs> it's the perfect mix of heart damage and, and i'm healing. sure and the thing is like i had heard from people like oh yeah I, I bawled my eyes out like four times i was like yeah okay it's freaking disney like it's simple Rick's nonsense. Like they just like package <laughs> up some whatever and throw it at you. I'm smarter than that. They can't trick me into caring. But yeah, dude, You're and hubris. it was this one scene. And I was talking to some of my friends at the gym about it today. And I was like, yeah, I totally was like crying. And they both knew exactly what scene it was and said that they also cried. <laughs> dude, that movie hits. It doesn't fuck around. Yeah. I wonder, and this might be a spoiler for Coco for all our listeners, so I don't know, maybe jump ahead or something, but can you, do you think you know what scene it was as someone who's also seen the film? It's been like two and change years since I've seen it. Yeah, I'm, I am, I am three years late to the party. I don't think I know This it. is not breaking news. It was when, I'm sure uh, I'll remember Miguel, it. It'll be an aha in a second. It was, it was it was after Miguel comes back from the land of the dead and he's singing Remember Me to his great grandma right before she dies, dude. And it's like reminds her of her own father. It's like, oh my God. Yes. <laughs> Just Yes. So happy and sad at the same time. Uh crazy. And it was one of those cries where like I was laughing at myself while I was crying. I was like, <laughs> oh, they fucking got me. You know dude. what cry they got You know what me. cry that is? That's the dad cry. That's the shit my dad would do at every movie and then not admit it when we called him on it through my entire <laughs> yeah. childhood. He's like, <laughs> like yeah. Dad, you're crying. <laughs> no, I've just been staring at the screen no. too long. <laughs> no, I'm clearly laughing. I have to be not crying. Those two are opposites. <laughs> exactly. That's a dad cry. That's what you're doing. You're moving into a dadhood. Oh, boy. I better get a kid quick then. Or a beer belly. Yeah, I can't let all this dad juice go to waste. Time to become a father figure. <laughs> Start freezing <laughs> it or selling it. You're six five. Ooh. <laughs> oh, that. Yeah, I guess that is what dad juice is, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> I went shot right past oh. you. Missed the cup and everything. Yeah. Yeah, really. Yeah, I guess I kind of walked into that when I coined my own fancy little term. Anyway, what else has been going on? I didn't get to see you this past weekend, unfortunate. I, oh, yeah, true. I, I hear you yeah. had a, a wild weekend. Yeah. Yeah, I was... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I was being yelled at by the father of a woman who I was just hanging out with. Nothing crazy happened. 
but uh it was just a little bit too late you know maybe like 4 a.m or something <laughs> yeah. i'm ready like all our clothes are on we're not touching we're not doing nothing but okay the optics were bad the optics were definitely bad you gotta not watch the optics man it be. is 2020 you know what i'm saying exactly <laughs> optics are everything did and steve, so yeah just you know did you get me too i'm a no thankfully not thankfully not it seems like it's it's pretty much blown over at this point but yeah just it's a a rude semi-awakening when you're drunk at 4 a.m and all of a sudden the bedroom door flies open and the lights turn on and you hear a bunch of expletives and <laughs> all of a sudden you're sitting on the side of the bed at 5 a.m still cocked thinking do i drive home is this the best thing to do right now i didn't i just good was decision like, nah i'll face some consequences in the morning <laughs> and did you how was yeah. the morning no the morning was fine we uh we hightailed it out of there got breakfast and spent a lovely day at the beach it was so nice played a lot of spike ball oh, as per usual i'm so jealous do you think you're gonna do any more beach trips this year <laughs> I got to get in on that oh, spike man. ball. It's so late. It's getting late. It's getting no. late. I mean, the spike ball does not need the beach. Spike ball can be played anywhere. Oh, but, but it kind of needs sand. It kind of does. You can it's do so, it on grass. It's so much better. Grass works. Oh, yeah. It's like volleyball, dude. Yeah, Volleyball's. I mean, it's basically the same thing. Just less space needed. But I want sand, and that's why I'm asking about the beach yeah. trip specifically. I guess. I mean, I guess if we don't care about it being warm, we can go to the beach and like play in pants sweats. and shirts. Yeah, exactly. You won't get road rash. This might be the best way to play spike ball. 65 degrees in sweats. Ooh, cold sand. I don't hate it. <laughs> I think this could be fun. Let's get a game together. We'll test Dude, it I out. Think we might need to just rebrand ourselves as the spike ball podcast. <laughs> it's come up a number of times now. Don't think we should um, own our brand and name it after us? The Zane and Steve experience or Zbeefcast well, we'll see how or much something? Money sp- <laughs> we'll see how much money Spikes Ball is willing to give to us. Yep. I'll settle for one Spike Ball Pro set. Yeah, I do really. not currently have Spike Ball. <laughs> one time that is my final offer. One time, one time lump sum of a Spike Ball Pro set and then they own our brand forever. <laughs> Uh, but we get our masters back just like Kanye yeah. wants <laughs> this is what you hear about like young artists who just get screwed over by record companies they and did we it for a artists. spike ball kit <laughs> artists yeah can you believe that that's exactly what we are <laughs> they sold all of manhattan for what was it like 12 bottles of whiskey and like a thousand dollars or something that's a great deal that's a really good yeah. deal. Somebody was bartering. They were handling well. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, it's the art of the deal, man. I mean, that's like a Pawn Stars deal, but still. Steve. Mm. What was the last thing that I called you about? The last thing you... Oh, like earlier today? Yeah. Uh, your lovely job... <laughs> I want to see you squirm with it. <laughs> you want to see me squirm with it? That you were yeah. you were notified of the fact that you were being let go? <laughs> yeah, I got laid off. Oh, okay. But <laughs> I'm wondering, and I want your advice on this. Then I realized, hmm. why not just do it on the podcast? Fuck it. <laughs> sure. Do you think I should go for another similar type of job? I got the eight-month time frame until med school starts. All things going well. Right, right. I could do yeah, like yeah, a yeah. lab type job, six month contract somewhere, probably something engineering, probably something boring, probably make about the same wage as I was. Or should mm-hmm. I do something different? With COVID, things are very like, different. So most of the different options that I know of aren't really there in terms of maybe mm-hmm. like abroad work or the live and work on a farm somewhere or those types of crazy ones are out. But could there be other business opportunities or other things that I could productively pursue? What do you think? Ooh, time to brainstorm. It's eight months. I mean, the first I need one... to make some money, but not a crazy amount. Yeah. Just enough to live till yeah. med school. Right, right. Could be an opening. Could hmm. be an opportunity. 
Yeah. I mean, outside of just applying to regular jobs, I mean. Which I will still you do. You could go full. Gotta have a backup net. Yeah, yeah. I figured. But, I mean, there is like full tilt podcast. I just don't know if I could keep up with you if that's like your sole focus for well, eight months. A big part of that onus, opus, whatever the hell, Otis, we'll go with Otis, would be on me. Otis Redenbacher, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of the popcorn, the 90% of the kernels would be falling in my lap, so to speak. In terms of right, and I'm the butter sauce. Also in my lap. <laughs> <laughs> Always. But that is an option, yeah. Pat's mm-hmm. about to get dropout's about to get his computer, and he himself Sick. is gonna be doing that music career stuff. He's gonna be doing streaming all the time. He's got like a schedule oh, built up for it. Dude. Jump in with that, maybe rope in another fella. Maybe learn to not dude. totally suck all Start of the streaming. way at editing. God only knows what I would. Nobody needs to hear from me or wants to, but I, I at least have I mean, the webcam. You... Yeah, yeah. You could be fine at editing. I don't know. What's sure, like, do be. you have a hold up about your editing skills? No, I'll figure it out as I go and <laughs> that'll yeah. be fun, but. <laughs> it's mostly just cutting together clips. I feel like it wouldn't be too Clips bad. of what? Just us talking? Clips of our podcast? Make a couple of fellas clips No, channel. no, if you. That's not a full time. Oh, job. sorry. I thought you meant like if you were like streaming with Pat or something. Oh, I don't think there's any way I could justify myself playing video games for and calling it a career before go- trying to go to med school. If what what if any school I interview at asks me what are you currently doing? <laughs> I don't know that yeah, they consider I mean, you that be constructive. Like- I mean, if you keep up EMTing, you could say like, oh, yeah, I got laid off from my job. And so I went like kind of full tilt EMT mm, for a while. That's an interesting and idea. And then you just don't bring up the Twitch channel. <laughs> that's a great idea. <laughs> it's just how many days a week can I EMT and is it enough to get livable wages? Because they're not necessarily oh, known know. for paying well. Oh, my really? back is kind of shit, shit in the bed. I got x-rays and MRIs mm. coming up again. Oh, damn. Make sure that it's not chain reaction fucking up the rest of my spine. So did you, have to did you this reach out and explicit. claim it? Okay. <laughs> did you did you like reach out and set this up, or is this like kind of like part of? I reached out. Plan? Like, was this like routine? Oh, okay, okay. Nope. After being fully cleared, I damn. should have been good after a year ago, but it getting worse in the last few months. Maybe from all of the work from home. Like, I got this cute little orthotic cushion now that I'm sitting on. I'm very adorably mm. grandpa in this sick nice. racing chair, but I don't know if oh, it's yeah. the uh, work from home office time. I try to be up and down. I've been at the gym less, more, changed my diet up, gone back to normal, increase, decrease, intermittent fast, focused on hydration, lots of stretching and recovery, that Theragun massage thing, inversion table, and still it's getting gradually worse. So... Hmm. It could be that tends to be like that in some cases, sort of chain reaction y deal in a back. Might be yeah, another yeah. vertebra. Let's see if we can avoid another no surgery. Yeah, seriously. It's really sick to get Especially right medical bills school. right when you get laid off. <laughs> <laughs> when it rains, it pours, dude. Jeez. Maybe it's time for a Patreon. <laughs> <laughs> You can only be a patron if you're willing to pay a thousand dollars. Or you have to donate <laughs> one cash. of your vertebra. Yeah. <laughs> Give me spine bones. Yeah. Yeah, that'll be our first like sub goal is if we can get enough like money going, we'll live stream the surgery. It'll be sick. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all paid for this, patrons. <laughs> you wanted it, here it is. Yeah. <laughs> I'll be doing director's commentary. A couple of fellas under the knife. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, the uh, timestamps on this episode are writing themselves. Oh, yeah, exactly. Is it yours or mine? Dude, I just it? want to die on camera. Oh. This one's definitely mine. All right, cool. I'll tell. That's yeah. good because coming up, I'm going to have a lot more free time. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Perfect. I mean, if you're real sneaky and you get it done before I get this to is it, another reason why pissed. I wanted to embarrass myself and put it on the podcast that I got laid off because now I can crack jokes and 
Ooh, yeah. is that fuel? Ooh, baby. <laughs> Finally, I can be a real comedian. I have struggled. <laughs> Oh, I have in self inner pain. <laughs> to I exploit. need to move into a van. <laughs> Speaking of which, I almost got one yesterday. Not a van, but a pop up camper. Like, you know, the ones you tow behind you and then you expand them, pop them up, and there's a couple of beds plus a little table and chairs. That oh, to yeah. A when you said tow behind you, you made like a backpack motion and I thought like, behind the, man, dude, if your back's not doing good, I don't know if you want to be pulling this whole thing up a mountain <laughs> through the forest on a hike. That's fair. But yeah, but no, I know what you're talking about. The kinds you tow. The ones that you use your curve for. Exactly. Right, right. But right. do me a favor. Hold that thought. Sing to the camera. I got to go pull a pizza. All right. I don't know if this is going to get cut. Uh, I hope Zane enjoys his pizza. He clearly needs it right now. It's uh, I'm going to guess meat lovers. Folks at home, take a big guess of what you're going to get. Like, what do you think it is? He does like pineapple. But here it is. Moment of truth. What's up? Zane, the fans need to know what kind of pizza is it? Oh, it's a five meat stuffed crust pizza. Yeah, I got dude, laid I off today, so All I'm right. eating good pizza. <laughs> Was that exactly the flavor you called? I said meat lovers, but close yeah, enough. That's stuff crust. Thing. I might get half credit because I should have said stuff crust. That's an important detail. You it's know I do. Topping. And I always yeah, do. Yeah, of course. Yeah, I don't yeah you never there. don't. Ooh, what you drinking? I don't know if you can say Dude, that it's, it's free like, advertising or what, but I tried to cover the cans. It's, it's, I don't know YouTube rules. I think it's fine. It's called Willie's Super Brew. Uh, flavor is pomegranate and acai and it's it's this like uh what's the word uh it's like a fancy ass spike seltzer basically and i forget the word what is that what's like a fancy beer craft it is a craft Crafts. seltzer craft seltzer yeah wow. dude there's places that you can go to like breweries i think they're called like seltzeries or something like that um <laughs> It seems like a really good time. I just don't know where any. Seems like are. a really lame pun. I'd expect sel- better from uh, that's the th- seltzery. Hold on, that's definitely not what it's that's called. That's an let adjective. Me, let me look it up. <laughs> I'm gonna Google seltzer brewery and see what they're called. There's your ASMR, folks. That was Steve. Very <laughs> rude. Very rude. Very disrespectful. Yeah, I watched the YouTube video. Justice will ring true. Nobody uh, watches the YouTube. We that- haven't gotten a single comment once. That's so true, dude. Although, I do I also, want to, did I let yeah. you know? Out of nowhere, Barb let me know that she went back and liked the one episode that had one dislike. So now we are neutral. Oh. Average positive across the channel. Truly, <laughs> truly a gem. God well bless done, you, Barb. Barb. We applaud you. Perhaps she also said fun. that she has been completely keeping up to date with us since she was introduced to it. Which I did not know oh, until yeah. yesterday. <laughs> and it's been <laughs> like 10 or 11 weeks of that now. <laughs> any uh, any regrets you got? Anything you wish you didn't say? I don't remember any of the things I've said. <laughs> Just That's so true, dude. It's so funny. It's incredible that Rogan has 5,000 hours of it because we've only got like 30 and I don't remember any of it. It's, dude, like... Yeah, there's a lot of podcasts I listen to that are, like, deep, deep into the episodes. And, like, I always hear them say, like, that they don't know what they said. Like, they'll have things quoted to them that they're like, I never said that. And then they'll actually listen to the episode. It's like, there it is. And there's not I want to have that much content life. out there. Yeah, yeah. It's <laughs> I kind of do, but at the same time, it's like, oh, that Steve. That's not Dude, me anymore. That's a different Steve. <laughs> the way I see it. It's like Duolingo. We can handle the average of one episode every other week to edit and one recording a week yeah. for like a long time. Like, true. there is no purpose to this already. There's never been a purpose. We have never had any focus at all. We did Would You Rather a yeah. few times and then that's <laughs> it. <laughs> so we yeah. can l- just keep going. 
that's it folks if you're listening to this it's the long haul that's our strategy for success just don't yeah. stop not stopping <laughs> Yeah, we're like Forrest Gump, basically. We're not smart, but if we keep on going, <laughs> hopefully a couple more people will keep following. And also, uh, something jumped up and bit Steve in the butt talks the last time I saw him. Yeah. Oh, uh, my was pizza that? wasn't actually ready, so that's my alarm again. Oh, goodness. So it turns out Zane doesn't know what the fuck he's doing. He thinks he can pull out a pizza all willy nilly, just take it out of the friggin' oven. Sometimes, you know, I'm just so disappointed in the guy, like, leaving in the middle of a podcast. Again, I don't know if this is going to stay in. I kind of hope it does now. I kind of want to put him on blast, especially since I'm the one editing this. He won't know what happens until it goes up live. And that's if he even listens to it. It's hard to say. But here he is back again. Welcome back. You're never going to believe this. <laughs> Tell me. My pizza's not ready. Still not ready. You're a goddamn joke. <laughs> I'm jumping the gun. I'm jumping the gun because I don't want to burn it while I'm doing this. So I'm preempting it right, too much. Right. Oh. Okay, stupid, okay. Stupid, stupid. <laughs> so what else has happened? I did an interview. You cuddled the girl. Got yelled at for it. That's everything. We're caught up. Yeah. I think so, yeah. I think that's about all we've missed. All right, folks. See you next year. <laughs> Dude, October October's this week. October Yeah. Dude, we what we else we can talk about is our little Joe Rogan tickets that we had quite the comical misunderstanding. You know, of. in hindsight so for everyone at home, in hindsight it makes yeah. a lot of sense. It makes so much we sense seen that, that, that we didn't see this before. Yeah. So for the folks at home, Zane and I, when did we buy those tickets? August? No, wasn't it earlier than that? Like maybe yeah, it might have no, been like it June was, or July. Wasn't it rescheduled for October? So originally from the an earlier were for time. Saturday. Originally they were scheduled for October 10th, for Saturday, October 10th. Oh. And then Corona happens and all that kind of stuff. Or Corona had been happening at this point. So it gets rescheduled. And I get the email saying it was pushed to October 8th. And I was like, that's weird. They pushed it up two days into a Thursday? What the? Okay, I guess. Like, I paid for these tickets. I really want to see Joe. Like, I have to go to guess work I'll make one the day and it's weird. Yeah, it'll be, it'll be fine. It'll be fun. And then all of a sudden, Zane calls me and he's like, hey, so I was looking at that... Uh, that ticket date and it said Friday, October 8th. And I immediately knew like, oh, that's weird. October 8th is a Thursday. It must be like some stupid typo. He's like, yeah, we should look into this. I was like, yeah, we definitely should. I don't. And then the next day, Zane goes, oh, do you think it might be not this year? <laughs> I look at it and yeah, there it is in plain English, October 8th, 2021. So, uh, Zane, in <laughs> a year and some change, I'll see you and Joe Rogan in Boston. <laughs> By that time, he's going to know our names. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, maybe we'll be his openers by that point. Who knows? Live with a couple of fellas. <laughs> yeah, anyway, exactly. I guess I just completely took your word as gospel on that. I didn't think of it at all. And for weeks, we were talking about it. <laughs> After the rescheduling, Dude, I told email. so many people. For we- <laughs> I told so many people that I was. Did nobody Joe question Rogan you? Next like I was so hyped. COVID is nobody questioned you. Nobody really brought it up with you. Yeah, either, they all thought I- it was. They all thought it was kind of weird, but I also thought it was kind of weird. So I was like, yeah. "Yeah, right? Isn't it crazy?" And then just Stop. moved on. Oh, and I bet uh, she's itching about it by now. She's listening to this episode too, but it was totally Barb that brought that up. She made oh, me check the year <laughs> once again, dude. <laughs> Once again, We're excellent choice. And here he goes again, folks. Let's see if he can finally get this pizza situation fucking right. I'll be honest, at this point, my hopes are pretty low. But uh, maybe he'll surprise me. He surprised me in the past. He surprised me several times before. But I don't know. He's a little trigger happy. But news time. Let's see how it is. And how's the pizza? First try. Nice, baby. <laughs> That's what we like to see. Oh, let that baby cool off. <laughs> Hell yeah. Hell yeah. 
I was going to say that we should do an extra long episode or start doing longer ones in general, maybe up to an hour, but that's more fun in person. So we can do a until my pizza cools length episode. You are a burpy boy tonight. (laughs) I'm doing a gas expel. What can I say? Fair enough. Dude, oh, speaking of long episodes, though, recently I listened to the Joe Rogan and Duncan Trussell five and a half hour episode. The Great. first one on Spotify. Great. Dude, it took me three days to get through it. <laughs> <laughs> Are you listening on 1.8 so speed? I'm listening on 1.0 speed. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, you know who is now hooked on the speedy podcast game? Dylan of Bar? the Dillology. Oh, I can see it. I can see it. He came up to visit he the other him night. some efficiency. Oh, God. He, what a sweet and appreciative fellow. He thanked me so gratuitously for that tidbit of advice when he showed up. But anyway, he showed up. You didn't. (laughs) But he showed up the other night to come and play VR, and he had played Beat Saber once. And that's the only thing he'd ever played. So we put him in through, he played VR for maybe like six and a half hours over the course of the nine hours that we were hanging out. And, Mm -hmm. oh my God, have you, you've never seen anyone as excited as this child was. (laughs) Dude, it was adorable. All five foot three of him, just, this is the greatest thing ever. It was so exciting. It was the joy of Christmas. And I hope he hears me saying this and that you both come and visit and play at the same time. Dude, I saw you sent me videos of him in VR chat. He seemed really good at VR chat. He was the first thing he does when I explain it to him, he picks Crash Bandicoot as an avatar and he finds some weeaboo anime girl that is actually a guy, of course. And that guy is from New Zealand and tells us that he works at a super yacht company. And Dylan starts asking (laughs) him about like the draft and the whatever specs on the engines on them and they just start talking about super yachts and their dimensions and construction for like 10 or 12 minutes and it was just such a perfect encapsulation of what vr chat really is dude seriously technology it's the internet it's the internet distilled down into a hauntingly pure essence vr chat way more personal it seems yeah we like found every be. character, like all the Ed, Ed, and Eddies, Solid Snake, King DVD, <laughs> everyone. What I was running around as there? Thanos. <laughs> I had Thanos with all of the Infinity Stones, and that's who I ran around as for a while. Nice. Yeah, Were you snapping so... at people? Not even once. I was super polite. <laughs> oh, that's <laughs> it was nice a wasted to opportunity. You're right. <laughs> Dude. <laughs> There is so much in that that I was not aware of. Like, I found a place that had beer pong and uh, what's the one where you uh, cornhole cornhole. It had oh, a whole bunch nice. of those and you could play it in VR while you're like socializing with people. And there's like a DJ and weather effects that you can all fuck with. It's crazy. People program whole games into wow. it. The world's insane, dude. We're so much closer to the Matrix Damn, than we thought. Cool. People are dude, plugging mine in. Still hasn't shipped. What? How many weeks I'm are you at? I'm still waiting. Oh boy, what's the date today? September 28th. I want to say it's the 28th. Yeah. I want to say it's been like one, two. This is actually it how has fast been he counts. Like 11 weeks. Okay. Since I, I think mine was 11 or 13, so you should be coming up on it. But fingers crossed, man. Anything you'll have it by <laughs> you'll have it before Christmas for sure. Steam sales await. Yeah. Oh, but speaking of Dylan, I'm going to roast him real Do quick. It. So he's very, I think I love the kid and he's very fun and funny to hang out with. But I think when it comes to certain parts of his culinary habits, he's very uncreative, mostly in the drinking sector. If you he brought, listen to our episode. He brought it again. He Oh, the dudes? Yeah. The dude, Yeah, he did. Yeah. But not just that, like... When he came over to my house, I asked him if he wanted some water. He said, yeah, sure. So I put some ice in a glass and then filled it with water. And then like two days later, he texts me. He's like, dude, now I get why you use ice. Like he just never put ice in his water. When we had our little lake house trip. That was the first time he'd had mixed drinks, right? Exactly. Yeah. The first time he ever had a mixed drink. He's 23, right? 
24. Yeah. That kid is so funny. Now I get why you going. use ice cubes. Yeah. <laughs> this man has a Spartan soul. He just like... If you gave so him I'm dry saying, dude, oats, he'd be fine. Just dry oats and yeah. warm water. He's like, this is a great <laughs> life, man. Dude, he would... It's it's funny, though, because I feel like it makes so much sense that if Ice Cubes did that to him, uh, what VR did was like... Exactly. Oh, my God. He, a next plane of existence. Do you remember the game Space Private Trainer where you're like... You have the yeah, little great gun, yeah, great six time. different guns, a whole bunch of arcade shit flying around. He played that total for probably yeah. like an hour and 15 minutes and he just kept kind of chanting as he was playing like, this is the best game I've ever played. <laughs> 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 it, it, uh, it was insane. <laughs> yeah. Uh, it is he had so time. much fun. It I'm warmed so my heart. I'm so excited to come in. <laughs> yeah, um, now you got access to Oh, dude, to another library. game that we played recently... For the first time, we played Among Us, dude. Oh, the new hot meme see, game. Yumi and Pat could all stream that, and that'd be fun. <laughs> that would be a good time, yeah. Is it possible oh, to set I'm up, so... like, three streams at once easily enough on a video? Like, could we somehow put um, together Yumi and Pat playing? I mean, with Among Us, you would not want to, but... Nah, yeah, just rotate. I feel like... Just one at a time yeah, enough. Yeah, exactly. I'm I feel like the best myself. way to do it is if we were if we were all recording separately, had our own streams with like voice chat with each other, and then if we were to put yeah. it on YouTube, we could do a single video that cut between us at interesting moments. Yeah. Or honestly, even if, if Pat's doing his own thing, let's get him signed to a couple of fellas. Oh yeah. <laughs> what what are we offering? He could start his own our channel. Twelve member audience. <laughs> exactly. Um, yeah, a little partnership. We could do a collab. We'll do a collab with him. For sure that. Yeah, that's easier. Do you know? Is he? We don't need to take on any more talent right now. Too much to manage. Yeah, exactly. We got a good thing going. Don't want to screw with it too much. <laughs> I don't know what his shit is on Twitch. I know it's Dropout and Young okay, Nug on SoundCloud. Enough. Check the link in the YouTube description of the previous video. Dropout. Hell yeah. Nice. Yeah, dude. Yeah. He's got some fire tracks, man. Dude, making music, if someone gave me beats, just like kind of rapping over them, seems like a good time. I doubt I would go anywhere with it, but I think it seems you should cool bust out at parties. I think you should mess around with rap chat and make some a couple of fellas intro and outro raps. Oh. Dude. I don't think I'm gonna make anything better than our intro. My mom's doing my taxes. My mom's doing my taxes. Oh now that's a Patreon stretch goal for sure. Guys, years ago, <laughs> Steve wrote a rap using Rap Chat about how his mom does his taxes. And it's honestly a masterpiece. One of the greatest lost works of yeah. this generation. It's like that last Wu-Tang album that, that shitbag Screlly bought, but more valuable. Yeah. So, I'm basically like the fourth Migos, I think. The way I rap in triplets. Migos. Ooh. Yeah. Oh. Oh. I'm like Offset's little brother. <laughs> All six, five of you. Yeah, exactly. Very little. I'm his Very big little, little, bro. Yeah. But yeah, I don't know. Maybe if we get... How many comments do we need on this next video for me to release my mom's doing my taxes? We should. We got to incentivize. I think you should honestly put it on the Patreon. <laughs> It'll be the only thing there for <laughs> months and months and months. And eventually, <laughs> a year or two later, we'll start using the Patreon. And that will be just... <laughs> in there but it's also Pay available dollars a month it's it's also available if anybody wants to sign up at any time before that <laughs> i think only... if people go on i think if people go on rap chat they can actually find it for free as well but you got to do some digging because you don't know what my rapper name is Almost. you know what the song is called probably you might be able to guess but <laughs> and yeah that was my that was my magnum opus. It's very rare for an artist to do that so early in their career, but uh, I really think I did. I think it's all downhill from there. But I might throw out some more tracks. Who knows? We, if the fans want it, I really think that you should do a little something for this for this podcast. Maybe, maybe. I don't. I love our intro song, dude. I really do. I think it's fire. It slaps. Maybe an outro. Maybe, maybe. Do we use the same Who one? Knows. No, they're similar. They're the same song. 
Oh, I have it titled as intro and outro, and I use them specifically each time. Is this so the same clip? I, that is, I, yeah, no. So it is the same like portion of the song, but the outro fades in, but not out. I think, and then the intro fades in and out. Okay, is that the correct way to do yeah. it? I don't know. That's how I made it. Correct way. Because <laughs> like, yeah, whenever I edit them, I have the clips in the beginning and then towards the end of them, I have the intro song then blend and like fade in. I also use an audio drops... effect to fade in. Yes, I do that too, because honestly, the fade, like it's still usually too loud. But yeah, you, you try to drop louder. the bass right when the last clip ends. Right when the last clip ends, and then at the end, I do the same thing. Right when we say like on a couple of fellas, bah! and then it and then it goes. Mine usually just fades out over the end part. We should really uh, okay. Should okay. we even confer? Or should there just be subtle differences, and we'll leave it to really diehard fans to know who's editing which episode? Yeah, no, absolutely, we should do that because that's like what the Beatles did. Like really diehard Beatles fans can tell. Like no, this Paul wrote this one and John wrote this one. Like you can tell yeah yeah i like they that. botched <laughs> this one and steve massacred that one <laughs> yeah exactly <laughs> oh god i can't hear a word they're saying it's definitely a steve <laughs> one trying to be artsy <laughs> too many filters too many effects he doesn't understand this is a zane one <laughs> <laughs> dude is that a spaceship and a laser gun <laughs> <laughs> no serious Honest to God, I watched maybe two premiere YouTube tutorials when we first started and pirated that software. And that's it. Like the five things that they recommended are the only things that I ever use for audio editing. And I put them at the same settings on every single one. And I don't know if they're good oh, yeah. or could be better. It's just what I do every time. Please, for the love of God, if anyone knows anything about audio engineering, help me. <laughs> Or if they sound good, Dude, I give us a it. thumbs up. That works too. Yeah, like, comment, and subscribe, I would say. <laughs> I guess that's, that's the sellout. That's the shill way of doing it. Oh, no, the shill way subscribe, of doing it comment, is... Subscribe, like. like, comment, and like. Yeah, like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell for notifications, sign up for our Patreon, go to our merch store, and then go to meundies.com slash fellas for 15% off on your holiday pack. <laughs> I'll be honest, me and Barb have a pair of matching MeUndies. They're great. Cannot recommend them enough. It's made out of micromodal Dude, fabric. Have... It's three times softer than cotton, Steve. <laughs> <laughs> Match your, make sure your bottom half matches your better half. Ooh. But yeah. Drop it bars. <laughs> it's not original. Put that on a rap chat. <laughs> I, I'm pretty sure that MeUndies makes a lot of their people say that. <laughs> a lot of their sponsees. <laughs> Spawn see me. <laughs> yeah, match your bottom half with your better half. But yeah, uh, I also have micromodal underwear. Not me undies, unfortunately. But yeah, dude, it's the best underwear I own. When I'm, I'll know I've made it when I only have that kind of underwear. I have maybe 50 50, like me undies underwear and other stuff. Big yeah. fan. Big fan. Very soft. Very soft. Very smooth. You're. You're clearly much more self-actualized than I am, I would say. I think that's the evidence. You've clearly listened to more Joe Rogan in recent years. <laughs> yeah, let me tell you about my Traeger Grill wish list. Oh, God, yeah. Man, if we get a house together Man. in Austin, we're getting a Traeger yeah, Grill. Yeah, how much do Traeger Grills cost? I don't know. I'm going to get seven ninety nine for like a real good one. Like a real good one. Traeger Grill. Hold that oh, up, that Jamie. Nice. Well, T R A E. Oh. <laughs> uh, all right. The tailgater, which looks like the smallest one, is four hundred seventy bucks. Yup. And what's? But the Timberline eight fifty Wi Fi controlled grill <laughs> is eighteen hundred dollars. Only eighteen. Chump change. Yeah. Right not even 19 dude that's easy money and there's one that's shaped like a pig and is pink uh and it's only 1600 dollars. so it sounds like that's the one we're getting i guess we honestly should yeah we could raise that that'll be our first patreon goal we'll try and hit enough subscribers to get to our <laughs> pink pig barbecue pit 
Yeah, our first Patreon goal is getting ourselves a pink pig barbecue pit. <laughs> I'll be honest, Steve, I don't really understand how Patreon works. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if that can be more apparent. <laughs> I'm subscribed to two of them, though. <laughs> yeah, dude. If we get enough fans, we can buy a house and a boat and a car, and they're going to all love it. <laughs> uh, it's so we can host parties for our fans to come to. Now you're bullying yeah, me. Yeah, true. <laughs> <laughs> that would be sick. Could you? Oh, the- a fan-funded party. That could be cool. For the fans. That could be really cool. Yeah, exactly. It'll be like the Chive Mansion or whatever it's called. I'm imagining us, you and me, walking into a room with our seven friends that listen and asking them for money <laughs> to throw a party. <laughs> yeah, we get the bill at the end of the night. It's like, so uh, y'all got this, right? And we just dip. <laughs> uh maybe we'll rethink the patreon yeah. plan yeah when the strippers come through it's just gonna be steve's rap chats for a while that's actually the yeah. real value in his only fans occasionally he raps in between all of the nudes and jerk off videos yeah 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 the jerk off videos are doing much better than the rap videos but the rap videos <laughs> are my true passion they're not what I'm just, feels, though. I'm just jerking off to put myself through music school <laughs> This is my gateway to stardom. <laughs> I'm just doing this until I get found by an agent. For your artistic uh, talent? <laughs> yeah. I imagine first concert, everyone's so disappointed that I'm not just jerking off on stage. That'd be uh, like, uh, what's the one that sold her bathwater? That'd be like if she did a stand-up show. Oh, Belle Delphine. Yeah, it'd be like if Belle Delphine did stand-up. <laughs> everyone would be... Uh, Little off Yeah, part. she doesn't seem like the funniest person. I have no idea at all, except Although, that she sold bathwater. I don't know anything else about her. Yeah. I admire her moxie. She made her big... Although it's gross that people she tried made her to buy big her comeback moxie. music video. Is yeah. she a musician? Yeah, dude. Peop- no, she was like not a even streamer close. or some... <laughs> yeah, not even... You're trying she to start internet like, beef yeah. right now, Steven? Are you trying to yeah, start Belle internet Delphine. beef with Belle Delphine? <laughs> Belle Delphine, I'm calling you out. Come out on the podcast and defend yourself. I dare you. If you what think if you she just popped into the call? This interrogation. <laughs> <laughs> Belle Delphine is trying to enter the chat. Yeah. You hear uh, a knock hello, coming Ms. from Delphine. inside your computer screen? <laughs> <laughs> I open it up. <laughs> you Ms. get Delphine, pulled in. I had no idea. <laughs> I just wanted clout. I just wanted clout. <laughs> but can you sell that online? Clout? Yeah. I feel like people. Ba- I mean, they make money off of it. So you that's can basically what influencers market clout, are. but you can't sell it. No, I. I mean, isn't that what a cameo is? You're basically selling. Yeah, your there own you clout. go. Yeah, yeah. Those are nifty. Oh, cameos are. Yeah, it's a nifty idea. Imagine being able to make a living off cameo. Just being just selling friendly soul. enough. <laughs> We took that in different directions. Fr- yeah. Just like people want to I talk guess, to you yeah. enough. Like, <laughs> you would have. Don't, they don't talk to you. Oh, right. You talk to them. It's just video. It, yeah. Hmm. They just send you like a nice message about like, you know, what's going on. Maybe they want you to say something like, oh, it's my buddy's birthday. Oh, it's my it's my anniversary with my wife. And then they just record themselves saying something. That's. And then send it off. Sick and easy. Yeah. I'll be honest, there's a it's lot great of quarantine money probably. There's a lot of fast ways to make money for especially people that are just known in some regard and I don't really fault oh, yeah. any of them for doing any of it. I'm impressed well, by dude. all of the like YouTube and Instagram and even TikTok people that have managed to market it. I mean, I lose a lot of respect for some based on the antics and the level of soul selling, but I don't hate on the game, I guess. Dude, how many fucking commercials is Shaquille O'Neal in? He's advertising like Gold Bond. He's advertising general Buicks. insurance. Like Buicks. Buicks. Yeah. He yeah, doesn't even dude. drive a Buick in the general. He... Do you know what an ambitious crossover that would have been? <laughs> <laughs> dude, 
Dude, he would have gotten double paid, and he would have had. He would have. You know how that works. It doesn't add. You multiply. Oh, tr- he'd yeah. have won. Well, maybe is that how it works? <laughs> I've never been sponsored before, so this, it's hard to say. This is very serious business, Stephen. Is that your Shaquille O'Neal impression? <laughs> no. Very serious business. It? Internet historian. Oh, yes. But I'm not a Kiwi. <laughs> yes, let us shake. Uh, <laughs> business. Yes, business. Uh, everyone out there, check out Internet Historian if you want some content that's almost good as this podcast. And Internet Historian, you can thank us later for the little boost in viewership. <laughs> yeah, dude. He, he's going to wake up next morning with like a YouTube platinum plaque on his wall and he'll have no idea where it came from. We're such saints. How many years has it been there? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, my dude, my web. Yes. Yeah, your pizza's getting cold, man. And no one likes some cold cheese in their crust. Yeah, that's exactly what I was going to say. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I read your mind. Like a book. Wait, I thought you were illiterate. <laughs> uh, I'm slowly learning, dude. I'm up through H right now. So I'm making my way downtown through the alphabet. Letter by letter, I'm learning to read. Yeah. So I got I go almost through. all of them, except for that. There's that one squiggly letter in cheese, but <laughs> I'll figure that one out eventually. I read the same book through every time, but with the knowledge of one more letter than I had the previous <laughs> time. <laughs> it's like a puzzle, dude. And I'm, I'm, I'm getting all the pieces. It's just taking time. All right. Well, we can give you another week. You can report back in on how your literacy quest is going next time. And a couple I'm of fellas. I'm going to be an L by then. <laughs> Peace out, man.